No cyanide was detected in the tissues or the small amount of gastric contents that were recovered following exhumation of the body. Cyanide has a short half-life and it may be lost over the post-mortem interval unless the tissues are adequately preserved. In this case, due to advanced putrefaction of the tissues, no cyanide was detected. The route of administration of cyanide cannot be confirmed by the autopsy. All I can say as a forensic scientist and pathologist is that there was a lethal level of cyanide in his peripheral blood, the blood that was circulating through his body at the time of his death. I can't really comment on how that got into his blood. I certainly don't think the coronary artery disease helped, uh, which is why we made it a contributory condition. But even if we found no coronary artery disease whatsoever, we would have called it cyanide toxicity and homicide. We uh, had already called it a homicide due to cyanide toxicity based on peripheral blood from the uh, external examination. So it was a lethal level then and it's still a lethal level. One more question. 